Now to critical testimony in the Jesse Smollett trial. The lead detective testifying today about how his investigation took a surprising turn. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar has been covering this story for years. He was in the courtroom today, joins us now live. Charlie, the detective said there was no rush to judgment in this case. Brad and Erica, yeah, rush to judgment. That was Jesse Smollett's uh, attorneys. Uh, that was their defense yesterday, that this whole case was a rush to judgment. The lead detective said this case was anything but. He said it was good police work. He walked the jury through the evidence of this case step by step from start to finish from when Jesse Smollett was a victim to the time he was a suspect. Detective Michael Thies, the lead detective on the Jussie Smollett case, says about 25 Chicago police officers spent more than 3,000 hours and collected 1,500 hours of surveillance video to help solve the vicious hate crime actor Jussie Smollett reported January 29, 2019, making it clear that Smollett was the victim at first. Detective Thies told the jury, this was horrible. The crime was a hate crime. There was a noose. There was bleach. The mayor on down, everybody wanted answers. They wanted to know what happened. Police were looking for the men in this grainy video as the possible suspects, but detectives didn't know who they were. Then, a major break in the case. Was it Grandma Illinois? Brothers Abel and Ola Osandaro were identified from this rideshare video they took the night of the attack. I'm pissed off. Smollett went on national TV and said he was positive the men in the surveillance video were his attackers. Detectives thought they solved the case. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them. So what's going on? Am I being in custody? Once in custody, the brothers told investigators it was all a hoax. Police then spent days trying to determine if the brother's story added up. The said, at the end of the investigation, we determined the alleged hate crime was actually a staged event and the hate crime did not occur. From the rope the brothers purchased at the Crafty Beaver, a hardware store near their family home, to the red hats and ski masks purchased with the $100 bill Smollett allegedly gave them to buy the supplies, to video of Smollett's car supposedly doing a dry run of the attack, Detective Thies says the evidence showed that Smollett orchestrated the attack. Smollett faces six disorderly conduct charges for staging and reporting a fake hate crime. His brother Jojo read a brief statement in support of his brother before court Tuesday. I just want to express that it has been incredibly painful as his family to watch someone you love be accused of something they did not do. And during cross-examination, Jesse Smollett's attorneys, they brought up some um, what they considered homophobic social media from one of the brothers. Uh, they did ask that lead detective. The lead detective has been on the stand for much of the day. Uh, Judge Lynn expects court again to go till about 7 o'clock tonight again. We are live from the Layton Criminal Courthouse. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. And to see all of Charlie's extensive reporting on the Smollett case, download the CBS Chicago app wherever you get your apps.